This is the Cyberspace Ministry of the Aboriginal Universal Supreme Council of the Elder Black Light, aka Professor Soul School Phenomenal. All praises due to Allah who came in the person of Master Farad Muhammad. And he raised up among us in the black bottom of Detroit, the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. Peace and blessings. And to his blood brother, Supreme Minister John Muhammad. And all the brothers and sisters that truly follow the heart and soul of the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad. Now look, this book that I'm reading from, I was reading from is called The Mother's Flame by, the, by Elijah Muhammad. <laughs> the End of the War we can't expect at the end of the war paradise or hell. See Bible Dan, Daniel 9, 26, 27. And at the end of the war, desolation are determined and that determined shall be poured upon the desolations. This is like saying, do not expect healing ointment to be poured on a sword that has been made. You will not get healing ointment. Instead, you will get a worse sword. With trying to find a job for unemployed soldiers who are returning from the war zone, if they have a chance to return, this will be one of the worst headaches for the government that she has ever received. That war is, of Armageddon is, being, is in effect, it's happening now, and it is the answer to the King Alpha plan, and all you black brothers and sisters better take heed to what I'm saying, and join together in unity or else you're going to go with the wicked. You know, in order to join this army, you got to have a pure heart. You got to love your people. And you can't hate the uh, Caucasian and what he do, because he just doing what he do, and you know what the outcome is going to be. But you still have to use strategy. You still have to make a plan to save yourself. Because you built up his world but never built up your world. Because you you uh, were saying he the guy. Think, think about it. You're living off a of man. You say he the guy. You're like the, the, the eagle that fell, the baby eagle that fell into the chicken coop. And the chickens raised you. Never told you that you were an eagle. They always say, you like us, chickens. So you know, eagle is a superior bird than the chicken. The eagle builds his nests on mountains. He fly higher than any other bird that there is and can spot his prey from thousands of feet up in the air, hundreds of feet up in the air, and swoop down on him, take him back up to his nest and feed among his uh, uh, baby eagles. Chicken can't do that. Chicken, he just 
got a rooster. You can fly this much off the ground and eat scratch the earth for whatever he could come up with. He almost like a scavenger. So that's the black man. We was our original minds was took away from us. This place was in his head, the Caucasian. And he took our minds off away from us, our language, our names, our God, our culture. For 400, going on 500 years, he been feeding us propaganda that we are chicken. And we think we chickens, we don't even know how to fly. So when his when the chicken world gets swept away from him, they get put in the oven, turn into chicken soup. If you don't know how to build your own world, you might as well be in the oven with with the chicken. Mr. Eagle, talking about the black man. The Phoenix. You see? So you better hurry up. Time is wasted. And this election is going to decide uh, what side you're going to be on. God's side or Allah's side or Jehovah's side, Jesus' side. You see, Jesus was down with Allah. He was with Allah. He was with the Father, which art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Black light out.